Hey guys, Chris Davis here from Revival Cycles. Uh, I'm here in the workshop today to talk about the Ducati Fuse project. This is a long-term, full custom motorcycle project we've been working on for a few years. It's very, very, very close to the finish line. And today I'm gonna spend a few minutes walking you through all of the electrical components that we selected for this motorcycle and, and kind of why we chose what we did to wire this bike. So starting at the back of the motorcycle, we've got an anti-gravity eight cell battery. The reason we chose this battery is because we knew packaging was gonna be incredibly tight. We have a one piece gas tank seat tail section that fits over all the electrical components. We wanted the motorcycle to look like it didn't have any wires on it at all, which is a challenge with a fuel injected bike. So the anti-gravity provides very, very high cranking amps for in a small package and it allows the ability to mount it on its side or any orientation really. From the battery, we have our Revival Cycles battery cable kit and our Revival Cycles starter solenoid kit with a built-in main fuse. This, again, packaging is, is super tight in here. The, the starter solenoid is basically touching the battery, but this main fuse slash starter solenoid allows us to have both of those required pieces in, in one unit. So moving forward a little bit, we have the Moto Gadget M Unit Blue. M unit blue, it allows us to get rid of a lot of wires that would be needed if we didn't have an M unit. It also reduces the amount of high current wires running through the system and also allows us to get rid of several relays required in the factory wiring system on the Ducati motor. So moving forward, we have a MOSFET regulator rectifier from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. The reason we chose this is because this bike, being a Ducati 1100, has a permanent magnet three-phase charging system. So we needed a, a regulator rectifier combo. The MOSFET technology doesn't produce heat the way a, a standard diode reg rec does. Uh, and since this reg rec is sandwiched in between the bodywork and the underbody, it's not gonna have much airflow at all. And we're able to do that because of the MOSFET technology. And also you'll see in, in here the individual fuse holders. We've got a single fuse, and this is for our M lock, and then another single fuse, which we have for our M unit. Uh, and again, the reason we did these individual fuse holders instead of running everything through our main fuse, uh, different current capacities for the M lock, and then also packaging, just being able to fit as many wires in this space uh, just wasn't, wasn't reality. So moving forward, we have the PVC vinyl wire loom. Uh, we chose this because it looks like a factory wire loom. There's a significant amount of wires in here because it's a fuel injected bike. There's the ECU right here. And this gives us that, that factory clean look. Moving forward, we've got the coils required to run the motorcycle. And then continuing farther forward, we have uh, one of our tiny horns. So we've got a horn which fits inside the triangle, still 100 decibel, only draws one and a half amps. Uh, it's small, gets the job done. So also packaged in here next to our horn, we have a hydraulic brake switch. The reason we have a hydraulic brake switch in here is obviously to run our brake lights, but the options were to have one mounted on the master cylinder, which we're trying to keep the handlebars just as clean as we can. Uh, and we didn't want to have a hydraulic brake switch mounted here or on the front caliper. So we built a, a manifold that nests inside of the frame here. So we have a, one of our custom brake lines running from the master to the manifold where our hydraulic brake switch lives. And then from that manifold on down to the caliper. So the Moto Gadget Chrono Classic gauge on this motorcycle has its own unique face. So it's unlike any other Chrono Classic gauge you'll see, but it still has all of the features. So it has a built-in accelerometer, a decelerometer, has oil temperature, oil pressure, loads and loads of features, plus the basics of it's a rev counter and a turn signal indicator, high beam indicator, neutral indicator, the, the basics that you need in a, in a fully functioning gauge. And then going forward a little bit farther, we've got one of our five and three quarter LED headlights. Uh, and then inside of this gauge surround, we have headlight plugs and the gauge plugs. Throughout the rest of the bike, we've got so uh, hidden Mizu connectors that we sell on the web store. And the reason we chose those, they're waterproof and they're tiny. It's really difficult to find high quality waterproof connectors that are not really large for automotive applications. 
So to run the engine, there are a handful of sensors that are factory Ducati sensors uh, that we've integrated into this custom wiring harness. They are required for this Microtech ECU. The reason we chose this Microtech ECU, Ducatis from this era have what's called an immobilizer feature. They have an ignition switch and a key that have to talk to the ECU before your bike will run. And there's ways around that. You can have it reprogrammed, uh, but we didn't want to fight with that. Plus, we've got this beautiful custom exhaust. We've got a custom intake. We knew we were going to have to tune the bike, so we went with the Microtech ECU, which is fully programmable, and it ties in with all the factory sensors from the Ducati donor bike. So we've got factory Ducati coils. We've got our barometric pressure and temperature sensor here. We've got the fuel injectors, throttle position sensor, oxygen sensor, neutral indicator, and, and a few other various sensors that are required for a fuel injected motorcycle to work. One of the biggest challenges was integrating all the factory ECU requirements, plus all the electrical requirements for the gauge, for the headlights, the turn signals, the brake lights and making it look as clean as possible. Another one of the challenges of, of making your custom wiring harness look as professional as possible is using the right connectors. We spent a lot of time researching what connectors we were gonna need using factory Ducati connectors for all of the, the sensors we laid out on the connecting to the ECU. Just looking at this ECU connector here, there's between 15 and 30 wires. Each requires a, a crimp terminal and these these crimpers right here, the open barrel crimpers that we sell on our website, made professional crimps very easy. We invested a lot of time in, before getting into this wiring project, just locating the, the factory Ducati connectors, the terminals that go with these connectors, so that way the finished result is as professional as possible. So to wrap up, most of these products we sell, and the reason we sell them is because we do use them on these custom bike builds. We spent a lot of time locating them, we believe in them, and that's why we started selling them on the website to begin with. If you are wiring your custom bike, uh, you're inspired, go to our web store, buy some items, and I, I must warn you that wiring your own motorcycle is a very time-consuming endeavor. It's uh, definitely not for the faint at heart. Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there, everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.